fusion is a frustrating technology because uh, we all know that it'll work. The problem with fusion is we haven't been able to sustain a fusion reaction uh, long enough to generate electricity. Uh, we've known this for 30 to 50 years. The joke in the fusion energy community is that fusion is always 30 years away. And uh, that, that remains the case today by any foreseeable uh, new developments. But there is research going on. And one of these days, I would hope that somebody has a breakthrough. And that would truly be a game changer because then we really would very likely be able to have energy so cheap that we wouldn't worry about metering it. But I don't think we can count on that uh, happening. So uh, then you look at other alternatives like advanced biofuels. Uh, there clearly is great interest in algae as a transportation fuel to back out uh, petroleum, uh, as well as some other biofuels. Uh, biofuels are not entirely free uh, in the sense that uh, you certainly want to move towards developing biofuels, hopefully, that don't compete with foodstuffs. Uh, and that's one of the big problems with ethanol in our country and corn. But there are biofuels like algae and others that uh, don't compete with uh, feedstocks. I've actually been a, a developer. Uh, I'm vice chairman of a company based in Dubai uh, that does uh, uh, biomass fuels in Europe, mainly because we get such generous green tax credits. It's extremely attractive. But there are different crops that can be used. We uh, are developing a proprietary technology that it's essentially like a bamboo type crop. We, we call it eGrass, but it's essentially similar to a bamboo, virtually grows anywhere in the world. It, that's a temperate climate, and like bamboo, grows very prolifically and very cheaply. Uh, one of the problems in biofuels, though, is very expensive to transport biofuels to their end use. So when you develop a biofuels plant, you want as uh, much as possible to have your biofuels plant as close to whatever end use uh, it's going to be used for to cut down on uh, what are otherwise very expensive transportation costs.